Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a smoothie recipe for you guys. This is just one of my meals that I eat during the week. Um, usually I'll have something similar to this once a day. I do eat Greek yogurt once a day, maybe twice a day sometimes. Um, so I just wanted to like show you how I do it. So I have my scale, but not everybody needs to use a scale. I use a scale because I am on competition prep, I have to weigh everything, but for the general population and those of you just looking for a healthy recipe, I don't, you don't really need to. It's, it's, a healthy, it's a healthy food, it's good for you. It's good to get those micronutrients in. So, um, but I will say like what I am using, I started peeling my banana before and then I was like, let me record for you guys. Um, but I will say like how many grams of everything I'm using so that way you guys know. I will be using 65 grams of banana. Um, sometimes I even like save the extra banana. Ooh, wow, 65 on the dot. I am good guys, I am good. Ooh, throwing banana now. Um, 65 grams on the dot. That like never happens. Usually it's like one or two over or something and usually I don't worry about that until I get closer to my competition. Then I worry about like actually really hitting, but as long as it's somewhat close, I'm like whatever. Um, 65 grams of that. I wasn't going to have strawberries just now, but I didn't finish all of them this morning. So I was gonna have 70 grams this morning. I ended up only eating like 43 because I had a pretty big breakfast. So I'm just gonna do 25 grams of strawberries now. Um, I just find that cutting the strawberry up kind of helps it blend a little better and I don't get those weird chunks because I don't like that in my smoothies. Oop, went over. My bad guys, my bad, wasn't paying attention. I was just like on a, a cutting spree. Yes, 25 on the dot again. All right. Um, this is gonna be a pretty small smoothie, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with small smoothies. They are still good. I am doing 13 grams of peanut butter to mix in. I wish I had like not creamy peanut butter, but I mean, chunky non-chunky peanut butter but that's okay um i i just like it because it gets it like a little creamier that's all what why are you saying that's 12 grams that was way more than not 12 grams come on Guys, like I don't, I don't mind being like over, but I never want to be like under on my macros. I'm like, nope, it's it's either on the dot or a little over, because I'm gonna be eating my macros. When you're in a deficit, you realize like they all count. Every last, every last gram counts. Um. And this is triple zero Greek yogurt that I'm using. I'm using mixed berry. Um, stir it before you use it, guys. But, I mean, you don't necessarily have to because you're gonna be blending it, but it's probably easier to pour out if you do that. don't really pay attention to like how much I add, just a little bit, so that way it's not too thick. And when I come back, this will be blended. All right guys, 
it's all blended up and this is what it looks like it's nice and thick um so yep gonna here i'll taste test it for you guys it won't be youtube official if you do not taste test your own recipes that peanut butter man peanut butter is life do this guys, put peanut butter in in your smoothies. All right, it makes it so much better. But it's good, and you know what? Even if you want it to be a little bit more cold, or like, more like the smoothies that you buy at a little like, shop or something, do frozen vegetables. I mean vegetables, oh my goodness. Do not use frozen vegetables. <laughs> do frozen fruit, and it will, Kind of compensate for not using ice. I don't like super cold things, but sometimes I do use frozen fruit, not vegetables. All right, bye guys. Bye -bye.